Hey there, hello, it's Tuesday, April 12, and you're listening to the Next Level Podcast, episode 18. I'm Emmy Bassavand. Kick the tires and light the fires. It's John Danho. Praise the sun. Woo wee. It's RXZ. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hello, gentlemen. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm in I'm in good spirits. I'm feeling okay. Good. Fucking fantastic. Yeah. Bro. How, how are you guys doing? Oh bro, man. Please, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm doing great and we're gonna learn how great I'm doing next week, actually. We will. Oh man. Yeah, no. We'll we'll talk about how good we're doing now, all about that next week. Okay. <laughs> Can we get a little taste about what you guys are talking about? Of course. Oh yeah, bro, of course. Uh so Dark Souls three came out and yes. we've just been uh, well. I mean, yeah, I can safely say we. We've simply we've been, been playing. binging Dark Souls yeah. three. Binging. Okay, yeah, just binge. I have Dark it loaded up. It's on my computer. I haven't had time to open it yet. Yeah, but hopefully I will tonight, tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, man, you're in for you're in for a treat. Just be warned a little couple technical stuff that you're gonna have to fiddle with in settings, etc., and shit like for that. For the PC, but, yeah. yeah. You're gonna, PC. you're, you're ready. I'm sure you've done that before for plenty of titles. Yeah. So yeah, dude, I'll be it's fine. not a big deal. But yeah, bro, like, fucking. Uh, I just want to kill demons. Our man. setup yeah, is no, really cool. Nice. Are they demons? Undead, demon, Undead, whatever, yeah, bro, every, anything okay. you want. Our Put setup's down. actually pretty cool. Like I'm playing on the PS4, and Shahan's streaming his PS4 on the PC, so that all three of us can be on Mumbo and uh, okay. John's on Mumbo, and we're all talking on Mumbo yeah. while we're playing yep. our dog shows. All simultaneous. All right, it's very yeah. fun. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Does the okay? Does the streaming thing work? Have you guys tried it? Dude, Shahan tried it. I asked Shahan because, like, when um when he was talking to me, he had literally said, "Dude." you realize what this means, right? And I said, what? He's like, now you guys can do your glimpses over PS4 games. Nope. I don't know. Yeah, I said, I don't know how it works, man. Nope. That's yeah, not how it works. Yeah, I yeah. have no idea. It's, it streams at 30 frames. Yeah. And it streams at like 720p if you fiddle with it. Like, yeah. it's not, no. For sure. It doesn't work out that no. way, dude. Damn, man. It's unfortunate. Well, but yeah, I mean, it, wor- it works. He says there's like some, a little bit of audio issues here and there. And like, it's obviously on his computer. It doesn't look as good as his television. But, sure. bro, it is what it is. Like, yeah. It's way more fun to be talking amongst ourselves while we play than Absolutely. to play uh, solitary. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, that's a taste of what we've been up to. And yeah. here's a taste of some beer. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah bro, well, what did bring this? us? Yeah. What was that? Hefe? I yeah. think the bottle's in the trash can already. <laughs> <laughs> well, Widmere's Hefe. Hefe. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Bro, you know better than me. <laughs> I've had it before. Yeah. I'm going to take a big swig right it now. It was a random Over. pick, honestly. It looked cool to me. I like it, though. That's refreshing. Yeah. Like it's just it's, it's great. That's a great word for it. It's just simple, refreshing beer, like nothing. It doesn't have like some crazy aftertaste. It doesn't kick yeah, your butt. Nothing like, about it bothers me at all. It's so, just it's fine. It's, so I'm gonna say cool. if you guys like this, you'll like other Hefeweizen beers. Hefeweizen is a type of beer, yeah. and you'll simply like it. Like it's yeah. all very similar. It's like it's this color, like the golden color. It's yeah, light. Yeah, I like it's, this color, it's man. It's fluffy. It's cool. Yeah, no, I like exactly. it too. Exactly, I like the fluffiness okay. too. Yeah. That's like, a good word to describe. Golden it for Road sure. Hefeweizen is out of this world. It's mm. really good. So, Makes sense. Yeah, no, they, there's really good hefes out there. What's man. the brewer, brewer, brewery for brewer, this? Uh, Whitmers. Whitmers. Their other beers are whatever. Okay. I like this one though. Yeah. I'm By the way, good. dude. Um, last week we had the Deschutes, right? Or like two weeks ago, or last week? I don't know. We had the Deschutes. Yeah, the, recently. The Porter. Recently we had it. Since then, I've had the Deschutes Stout, and I've also had a Deschutes Pale Ale. And they were both delicious. And I fucking don't like pale ales. Hmm. And it was just phenomenal. My cousin Danny turned me on to it. Like, nice. Fucking great shit. Yeah, no. Yeah. The shoots like seems like a cool brewery. Family owned and all this shit. So Fuck yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I'd give this half like solid 7 out of 10, I think. Yeah? I think, think I would too, man. Uh, I'll give it a 7 as well. Yeah. yeah, I'd give it like a nice... Well, I like it a lot. So, I, well, compared to other halves, yeah, 7. But in general, like... For our ratings lately that we've been doing, this is above and beyond the usual stuff we've been yeah. drinking. Yeah, seven is the highest yeah. I've given any beer so far we've drank, I think. <laughs> but I don't think I would come back to this. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would come back. There's, I don't think so. There's beers I would rather like, choose it's, if it's I have nice, the option. It's between. nice, but it's not interesting. Like, it just seems like a very safe kind of yeah. oh, generic. I, I don't want to say generic beer, but like, yeah. it's just. I, I, was, ac- I was actually going to pick something it's else. It's like up. it doesn't have personality. I was going to pick something else, but, uh, but John stopped me because he reminded me that we've actually had that on the podcast once. Okay. Well, was it a Peroni? It was the what was, was it? it the, the the banana bread beer. The banana oh, bread. we dude. had that. Yeah, no, so it good. Was fucking delicious. I, I would have that. it again. Yeah, I wanted to I would bring it. Happily have it again. I don't know, man. Yeah, are we, you we've been Even having. Even though we already had it once. Sure, man. Okay, yeah, I don't know. 
We've been having different beers every time. So maybe maybe for our 21st podcast. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No. I'm down sure. with that. When we become we can recycle. legal. All right. Let's do that. Yeah. Once you become legal, you just start recycling the same alcohol. Dude. Order. How about this? <laughs> okay. How about this? Best idea for our 21st. We each bring the beer that we want to bring. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Right. Doesn't have to be beer. Oh yeah. We oh, each yeah. bring what we want to drink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't even have to be alcoholic. Totally a whatever you want. Sure. Well, but I mean that defeats the purpose of going be, legal, dude. It should be, <laughs> it should be a treat. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Naive, Emmy's no. definition of treats you're setting, is, uh, you're setting it up again. Yeah. Suspect, dude. We have another turkey pepper you, coming you up. You fuckers thought Marmite was bad? Oh, God. Yet another... Fuck. The, there was the no streak thought. is real. The streak is real. <laughs> dude, there was no thought behind me and my opinion of Marmite. It was just like literally like know, the truth dude. of the matter. I I, <laughs> I legitimately like that thing. I'm, I'm nearly done with that fucking large jar. I'm going to go buy another one. I just... You know, I feel bad for like, you know, your I like your it. inner body. I like it. Yeah, okay, it's nice. Man. Sounds great. I have become more mutt. <laughs> oh. I don't know, man. Um, I'm just gonna ignore you guys. <laughs> ignore the marmite, dude. Yeah, I, we, I we gotta. Should. I have to ignore the marmite. I can't defeat the marmite, so I have to ignore it. <laughs> I'm not gonna join it. Well, mm. that's that's totally up to you. Yeah. So what's been going on, man? Mm. What have you guys been playing? You know what? Before Dark Souls Three came out, I was reinvigorated into uh, Elite Dangerous. Yes. Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous For dude. those of you who haven't heard about Elite Dangerous, actually. I barely heard about Elite Dangerous. It was very coincidental that I even got into it at all. It's really one of the most amazing games I've ever played and the best space exploration game I've ever played, hands down. I haven't played mm-hmm. too many. There's actually, ironically... There's I don't know not a whole lot around yeah, there's not right a lot, now, dude, but it's like, such a cool idea, it's you know? It's kind of coming back, though. A little bit. Like, Elite's a relatively new game. Elite. Um, that, yeah. Well, Star, that Citizen, Star Citizen. Star Citizen. Space the Engineer. They're working yeah. on yeah. Uh, Space Engineer is actually pretty cool. I don't know yeah. anything about it, but it's I see it Minecraft on... and Space, dude. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's yeah, cool. I saw that on Steam. They're also working on an expansion on Elite Horizons. Yeah, man. Do you know anything about that? No, I haven't really looked in too much. But um, they are so adding the whole element. Yeah, exactly. Shit, right? We talked about this a little bit last time. They're adding the whole element of landing on planets. I watched a little bit of a video, actually. So what ends up happening is like you reach a planet and you know how when you reach a large op- object in Elite Dangerous as you're like traveling really fast, it throws you out of like your super cruise speed. And yeah. so now you go a lot slower just because of the gravity and everything like that. So the physics in the game is actually beautiful. So you land your ship on the planet you can come out of the planet in your ATV or whatever, like a uh, car machine, mm-hmm. and then you start exploring the planet. And that has benefits. You can actually find like minerals and stuff on the nice. planet. You can meet up with other people on the planet. Nice. Yeah. That's like, like the best part, I think, when yeah. you just, just meet like someone else you didn't even know they were there, perhaps like yeah. on a fucking, on their ATV, and you don't know, dude, are they going to like, what are they going to do? Yeah. What's their whole motor I mean, you could be on the ground and there could be a spaceship like flying, hovering over you. Yeah, no, I. You could be shooting. Uh, you can use okay. You could be flying with your spaceship and shooting down at at the planet. At those guys. Yeah, and mm-hmm. vice versa. You can have guns on your like ATV from the videos I saw. Could you go on asteroids? In, do you know in the expansion or? Uh, well, I don't know if you can drive on them or park on them, but I know you can get up close to them. Like, yeah, even yeah, without course, yeah. horizons. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. I remember. I watched. Dude, yeah. so I wa- I basically watched both of you, uh, play Elite Dangerous, uh, on I mean on your fucking amazing projector yes. wall. And like you had the the you have the flight stick and the throttle and all this shit, dude. Like, that's some legit stuff, bro. And I was watching that. Yeah. And, uh, man, uh, I was blown away by how beautiful mm-hmm. it was, serene and nice and and interesting. And you're not just saying that, dude, because I watched no, your I, face bro, and your like, reactions, yeah. and you were truly like unexpectedly blown away. Yeah. By no, the I game. was mesmerized. It's like yeah. for yeah. someone that doesn't know what to expect, it's it is really cool, man. It's unbelievable. Like the it's like it's the scale of it. Yeah. yeah. I feel oh, like yeah. That, that has a lot to do with. I don't it, know like, how all of that fits in a ge- in a game. Like I didn't. I, I like I was trying to comprehend that the whole time. I'm like, dude. How much work went into this right? fucking thing? Like, how, right? How many trying to wrap hours? your mind around like the devs trying to yeah. program this shit, and you're thinking, well, if they manage to do this, like, how can't they not manage to like make mm-hmm. these other games? Some of the other games that you start comparing, you know, on the scale, sheer yeah. scale of things. Yeah, actually, uh, my top five has Elite Dangerous in it. So that's right. Yeah, yeah dude, you on just the, posted on that the website. Yeah. yeah. So I, I wrote a little bit more detail about some stuff you do in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah dude, yeah, it's, I, it's it's just very surprising to me that. 
that kind of genre hasn't taken off, man. Elite Dangerous is just, it feels it's, very nice, charming It's and because fun. it's the pace of it, man. It's slow. Yeah, sure. it is. It's very slow. And that's what I like about it. I, like yeah. I was telling you yeah. guys this earlier, like one of the most memorable parts when we were playing Elite Dangerous like a few weeks ago was when we had our vector set up, we had our destination yep. set, our egg, you, you know, like throttled up. Yeah. We're, we're set, you know, we're like thousands of light, light years away. Exactly. And then you just walked away from control, sat down next to us on the couch. Yep. And we just talked. Yeah. We just talked. We <laughs> yeah. just shot the shit for like five minutes until we got closer to our target. And then and we're like, the okay, like time to fucking land. Like, yeah. <laughs> we straight up talked through 2,000 light seconds yeah. of yeah. Uh, distance. Exactly. Yeah. It was, the light years became light seconds. Like, yeah. and then all of a sudden you're just like, you have to get yeah. back in it. You have to control your ship, deaccelerate and all this mm-hmm. stuff. Like, yeah. It was and then in those, cool, in that few, like well, however, like in the two hours or however long we played, we saw so many fucking cool places. Oh, like, yeah. We saw a planet that had two suns, and that was the most basic uh, ship you were using, yeah. too, the yeah. Sidewinder. Yeah, yeah. So like, just to give like the homeboys out there an idea of how the game works, you basically start off as a pilot in space, and you're just in a station orbiting some planet in space, and not necessarily Earth, in just some random planet, right? In some random system. And you start off with a basic ship, the Sidewinder, which has very minimal speed, like minimal stats and stuff. And you just start your adventure. There's like very little linear stuff to the game at all. Like you almost you nothing do, linear yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. The scale of the universe is absolutely yeah. insane. The amount of systems, planets, mm-hmm. and like stations you can go to and visit is just unreal. Like you could spend all your time playing. And, you'd and it never gives see. you a lot of freedom too as a player. Like you can yeah. choose what you want to do. Like exactly. you want to be a mercenary, you can go do that. You could go fuck people up. You want to be a pirate, hunting. you can do that. Yeah. You want to be, you don't want to fight. You want to be an explorer. You just want to go check out different planets yep. and fucking sell maps to different factions. Like you can do that. Yep. And you gear your ship up for that. You can specialize your ship, equip it, a lot of customization, a lot of different ships you can buy, different sizes, like not only the scale of the universe, but the scale of the ships. And yeah. so, oh, so much. Th- this is actually very interesting that you bring that up because, you know, I was like just doing basic research on what people think about Elite Dangerous, the general consensus and stuff. I feel like it's a very loved game mm-hmm. and it's something that a lot of people get behind and they want to see its potential grow, which is evidenced by the expansion and what it's doing, right? But you just said like the the shipbuilding aspect of it, yeah. how you gear your ship, right? And one of the biggest criticisms I've heard against Elite Dangerous is that the structure of the game is lackluster in the way that you're basically grinding for more ships so that you can grind for more ships. And it just never ends until you get the best ship and then what do you do from there? That's the general consensus of people's but I distaste don't think, for it. I don't think that's the point of the game, though, like trying to get a good ship. The right, whole point right. is like it's the journey, not the destination. No, you know? I, I totally get you 100%, but it's because you're not grinding for anything but a ship that people make say that mm. right so they say like what what are you going to do eventually with all that with all that non-linearity and everything you just get a better ship that's the, really the only mm. mode of mode left to you right but if, if i'm wrong that's fine there's just simply what i've heard well, it's a good what, point you know. it's a good point i mean it's kind of like like when you say it like that i think of real life and like in real life dude it's like kind of an analogy where you go through real, real life and you're not always thinking of the big objective you have. Like, let's say I want to buy that really expensive ship. I'm not always thinking about that as I'm whatever else I'm doing, right? I'm doing a lot of other stuff. And you kind of have to live in the moment. Like, you kind of enjoy just the process of it, like Emin said. So, yeah. like, the process of bounty hunting and fighting these guys and the thrill. Next thing you know, oh, shit, I've made 200,000 credits doing all this. You don't, you haven't even realized, right? And then that's like a step closer to buying a ship you want to buy. Yeah, there's some ships that are super expensive and will probably take you a long time playing the game and saving up money, uh, in-game currency for even buying that ship. But really, it's not necessary. Like, buying those expensive ships is unnecessary. That's just a luxury. It's a kind of like a reward for the veteran yeah, elite I dangerous see. player. You see, that's what I'm a good saying? way of putting it, man. Like it's 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 analogous to life in that way. Like you're not always thinking about it. I, I yeah. Get it. yeah. And like for example, in real life, I'd like to buy a house one day, you know, but it's not a guarantee that I will. But if I do, that'd be cool. That's kind of my approach with the larger and more expensive ships, the ones that cost like fifty something million credits. Yeah. I don't. I'm not <laughs> sure I'm ever gonna even get one of those, but so I would love to. What you're saying is that elite dangerous is better than life. <laughs> Dude, honestly, if I could switch my character's life and mine, I would. Uh-huh. I would honestly. Oh man. Oh yeah, dude, you're fucking your slave master character. You're just shipping slaves from one. Oh yeah, dude. Place I'm a to straight another, merchant dude. dealer trader in Elite Dangerous. <coughs> slave master. Uh, thousands of slaves. Well, honestly, okay. There's. I am gonna justify this. Okay. There's different factions in the game. Uh-huh. Okay. One of the biggest features of Elite Dangerous. Before and, you get started, you yeah. were slave master in Rust. <laughs> oh shit dude okay. that's so funny dude you probably did some fucking shady ass shit in terraria or hey, whatever the man. fuck you've been playing recently 
Amen. Stop uncovering. By the way, I'm an undercover Nazi, dude. Now, okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Go continue. Okay. <laughs> One of the biggest features of Elite Dangerous that the company is actually like pushing forward to is the whole power play idea. Mm. So if you actually look on their website and like in game, you always see this word power play and like there's news that they show the players every week and you're kind of confused as first as an amateur player. You're not sure what, what that is. What that is, is the power play between the different factions. So there's constant changes happening and the changes are based on what the players are actually doing within the factions. So to give you a more specific uh, insight, for example, I'm in the Empire faction. So there's like Alliance, Federation, Empire, and those three main factions control certain systems and zones in the world. So you actually see in the galaxy map overlay yeah, I colors and like which faction controls which yeah. systems and zones. So I'm pledged to the Empire faction. <laughs> and these fools, they're all about uh, honor and slavery, treating your <laughs> slaves right and good, but they don't like technology so they they're don't basically resort to Romans. They're they don't, space Romans. Huh. Yeah, they're like that's space it. Romans. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They don't use machinery, so that's they funny. still use people. And honestly, uh, there's such a like idea in the Empire where it's better to slave and pay off your debt, uh, and it, that's more honorable than not paying off your debt. You hmm. see what I'm saying? So a lot of the slaves are could be actually regular people that just don't have the money to pay off their debts, so they're slaving just because it's more honorable to do so. You know what I'm saying? So it's not the bad version of slavery. Sure. It's like how slavery would be in are you justifying best. slavery uh you know what man you let's, trying to, let's move on <laughs> let's, here uh, I'm, st- I'm justifying slavery in the elite dangerous uh, realm fair enough, okay. fair enough yeah no but like i i remember seeing that whole faction uh the part of the, the map play, yeah. because like you see the entire galaxy mm-hmm. and it's like this not web it's like a snaking like cloud of like there's a yeah. purple one with this yeah. faction and then the red is this faction and it's like some are way smaller than the other yep. one and uh, it was it every was very faction has different leaders and the different leaders have like their different zones that they control and they kind of have civil war sometimes with each other cool. as well that's it's like nasty, dude, that's crazy. interesting yeah. like that's a whole part of the game i bet that if you didn't want to you wouldn't need to explore you don't, that heavily exactly right? yeah. you don't need to join any faction at all ever you don't even need to be aware that the factions are doing anything <laughs> yeah. you can be on your merry you way just play the game. doing what yeah yeah at all and at some point if say you get bored suddenly hey man let me join a faction yeah. and lead their cause and do their missions and stuff it's like a whole aspect of the game that like that's an entire good. part of the game that i haven't really explored at yeah. all like for me the real appeal of elite dangerous is just sitting in your spaceship Flying and just around. floating around yeah it's beautiful like dude. It's, it's it is beautiful and whenever you start relaxing. traveling whenever you start traveling yeah. and you're going like in, in super cruise yeah which is by the way a very cool name for anything and going very on super awesome. cruise yeah and then the music kicks in oh the music oh my yeah. god holy shit man. i remember like, the music. what fantastic yeah. music yeah very impeccable yeah i mentioned it in my top five i said that elite dangerous is amazing basically but everything is topped off by that amazing soundtrack yeah the audio is just fantastic it's it's like for elite dangerous like how i see it is like 90 90 to 95 percent of the time it's very slow paced it's very kind of zen very slow easy going Five percent is intense. It's in bursts. Yeah. Yeah. And when it like when it when it is getting intense, bursts. it's really intense. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Like dog fights and stuff. Dog right? fights. Oh yeah. No, absolutely. Dog yeah, fights. Bet, yeah. 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 Or what? even dude, like even when you like jump into a system, and you just show up like. Like the, the sun, yeah. yeah. The sun just shows up right the in front of you. The system like, just becomes super large I, in front I of you. I love that. I love yeah. seeing that. And then Arag and uh, you were telling me like, you know, if you get too close, like your fucking ship burns, and yep. you have to like control yeah. your speed and like like ride the rim of the sun and all yeah, this yeah. crazy. You can shit. buy I'm a fuel like, scoop. You can buy yeah. a fuel a fuel scoop and yeah. then just glide next to a sun yeah. and pick up fuel. Yeah, 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 no, yeah that's, that's like how essential you for exploring. For example, this is just too much. Yeah, when you go out into deep space and you're really far from. A systems that are occupied by normal civilization which you can do like yeah. people would typically think oh there's like an end map like like an end of the game like somewhere where i can't pass through no dude like literally you could just choose a direction and fly mm-hmm. and eventually you're gonna start running out of fuel you need to start resorting to a fuel scoop, scoop literally just yeah. gathering the energy off the fucking <laughs> sun to like keep exploring no shit. that's just too late like yeah. so this is my question then like where do other games in this genre like go like what what would what, what does star citizen need to do to top it what does space engineers need to do to be comparable like what like this seems to me as like just a layman in in this genre someone who doesn't play these games like as something that really sets a high fucking standard yeah and it's it's amazing the scope is like grand and beyond everything so these other games, dude, like I just can't even imagine now what they're gonna be like. If like Star Citizen has so much beyond be, behind it, yeah. Like if it's not, if it doesn't reach up to that, I, I don't know. Star Citizen is a very different game 
than Elite Dangerous. Yeah. Elite Dangerous is sort of MMO ish. I know, or like, I know that you can play like yeah. without being connected to yeah, you know the when internet you and are play connected, offline. It's, yeah, yeah. It, it it is a bit of an MMO. It's, it's like it, MMO. it reminds me of Daisy. It reminds me of like Daisy in space. A little bit, yeah. Except yeah. if it was like way more massive scale. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Like yeah. I'm, I'm just talking about like that type sure, of sure, genre sure, of game. Sure. It's like yeah. survival. Sure. Almost. Anytime you can encounter anyone, exactly. really, pretty much, and they could choose to do anything, like attack you or yeah. not attack you, mm-hmm. whatever. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I think like that's that's the real meat of Elite Dangerous is like when you play online, when you play with other people, having the option at least. Yeah. 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 Star Citizen is a single player game. Oh. It has like an arena mode that you like dogfight against Star other Citizen people. Star Citizen is going to be a single player? I didn't even know I had, that. I thought it was going to be a fully online. It's not an MMO. Actually, what? it's not. I have a negative reaction to that. I don't mm-hmm. like that at all. Same here. They're, they're making a different type of game. That, I like, didn't it's not, know that, dude. Yeah. Like, that kills my heart. It's very different. Yeah, no, it's very different. I thought like, you know, like, everyone's like, the, there like, is there is multiplayer. There's there is connectivity, but it's not like Elite Dangerous. Like it's no. not that kind of multiplayer. Other than the multiplayer, I'll tell you three specific things that I would want from future space games. Now that I've experienced Elite, one is it needs to be minimum visually as appealing as Elite Dangerous. Oh yeah, I like when I when I'm like getting close to a planet and all these different stars and the creativity of how they look and all of that, it just needs to be. Very yeah. immersive. The physics needs to be right. It needs to look supreme. That's number one. Number two, the sounds, the audio, yeah. the soundtrack, the, the music. Sound, Not just the music, but the sounds of everything. The sound in Elite Dangerous is just something else, yeah. man. Like the it's the nice. engine sound, the everything. Yeah, the, everything. When you're inside a space station, you can hear the fucking space yes. station humming. Like it's yes, it sounds it, good, man. It, it immerses you. It helps the immersion yeah. completely. When you're like exiting the space stations, go passing through that blue force field, and the, yeah, mm, I right? love that. Dude. And you yeah. like the fucking abyss just opens up in front of you, and you see all the stars and everything. That is the second thing that is amazing, and the third thing is, you need to be able to enjoy the game. Just by flying around in space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You You, know, you shouldn't feel pressured. You shouldn't feel like you need to interrupt your pace and your enjoyment for what the game is trying to impose. Right. It needs to feel that grand. Like, like I mean said, you just enjoy flying around, traveling, exploring. And that's not really the big part of the game at all. You know, and you are already just having fun doing that. So I feel like that is a criteria that also needs to be. I 100% agree with any space game. I, I would love to play that game, but it just feels so daunting, dude. Yeah. Like just watching you guys having played it and just seeing it like it seems like it's a steep learning curve to really to really engross to really yourself in it. it. Yeah. yeah, like and it doesn't seem like it's everybody's cup of tea. And I think that's why the genre isn't as large as True. we were asking why isn't it? That's probably why, dude, because like to have all these kinds it's of too things grand like, for some people. When I fucking saw you guys like ask ask permission to dock in a space station yep. and then they grant it to you and all this shit yeah. like come on dude that's so like out of this world yeah. to me like <laughs> as just a gamer as a normal like fucking person you know an average guy like how does that even it's very come, well you know? made very few loopholes in the mm. game in Elite Dangerous oh, really? everything every like very yeah I mean there's no point where it's like oh like uh, this kind of breaks my immersion mm. you know everything is so immersive like the docking process the undocking process yeah. the flying process traveling process this that when you're at the station even everything seems like you're there you're in it yeah you know there's no point where I'm like oh this feels unreal or doesn't really speak well to the rest of the game or yeah. something the one and only big criticism I can give of Elite Dangerous is there are points where it's a grind mm. you know there are points where at this point I just Got to repeat a certain process a few times to make the extra cash to buy the extra part for my ship or so to what buy usually is ship. that process? Is it like doing quests or is it mostly so that's completely up to you? Merchant there is actually variation there. Mm-hmm. So, like you said, you can choose to do like bounty hunting, right? You can get yeah. uh, money by killing uh, fugitives yeah. in different systems. Uh, you can mine asteroids, you can equip your ship with mining gear and stuff, you can mine specific minerals. Can and you do sell pirate them. ship? I mean, right, steal so, stuff from so you can actually be a pirate. You can fly around, find cargo ships Arr. and transport ships, yeah. scan their cargo, and if they're carrying goodies, you can blow that shit up and take yeah. their, their load. Yeah. One thing, actually, one thing I like a lot is whenever you're in Super Cruise and you're flying around and you're playing online, if you see someone else in Super Cruise, you can knock them out yeah. from Super Cruise. <laughs> yeah. Inter- you can interdict them or something. There's yep. a specific you item. You intercept punish- them or whatever, yeah, yeah. like whatever it's called. Like I've you can this. you can knock them out of Super Cruise. Why would you do right. that? Scan them. Notice that they have some good fucking stuff, man. Yeah. You go fuck them up and take their yeah. shit. You could. While in Super Cruise? Yeah. 
Oh, well, you knocked them out of Super Cruise. Right. So, but so, you are still in it, right? And then you so get out too. Both oh, of you, oh, you get yeah. out too. Yeah, I got Both you. of you are in Super Cruise. So, one thing that I was skeptical about when you said your favorite part was how I can set our destination and walk away from the computer yeah. was that very yep. thing. Yeah. Because I know, in I know. online multiplayer, at any moment, some fool might ride up on me and interdict me off Super Cruise. Now I'm like, <laughs> my spaceship is losing control. He's shooting my shields down and shit. You kind of have to, even though there is that slow pace. At any point, there could be an outburst of like intensity and thrill. That that's exactly what I'm saying. Like ninety yeah. percent very slow, exactly. easy going. Ten yeah. percent like fucking. Yeah. Like, and you don't what know what's going to hit going you. On. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. know what's funny? Like if I think about like space in real life and like the capacity to go to space and the and like what the future holds for it, and also mixing it in with these you know fantastical representations of it in games and movies and whatever, like. It feels to me that that's the formula, right? 90% just slow, steady, everything. Beauty. And then all, like beauty. And then all of a sudden, dude, like fucking cowboy bebop style. Like they're just... <laughs> yeah. they're just da, 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 da. Dog fight. Yeah, yeah like straight exactly. dog fight out of nowhere. You know, like spikes going out in his fucking thing and like killing people. I don't know, you know? Like, <laughs> exactly. Cool shit like that. But then other times they're just getting drunk in like the ship, like just chilling. It's an like, atmospheric experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. That, I think that's like the fucking formula, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's another thing. A space game needs to have to carry with it an atmosphere experience yeah i think immersion is important in any game but in space genre i think it would be more important than other games sure. honestly yeah yeah i can see that dude because yeah. it's grounded in reality to a very yeah very tangible degree exactly it's not like a complete fantasy like fucking skyrim exactly. or something like you, you can don't have really aliens care. but yeah. yet it's still in a realistic setting yeah in a sense you know yeah. mm. talking about immersion i have a flight stick all right yeah <laughs> and so like you've been playing mostly on keyboard, keyboard and mouse and right mouse. Okay, so you played with the flight stick I did test and that. Uh, throttle, yeah. which is called the Hotos. Oh, interesting. Does it Almost stand like for anything? Or? Yeah, it's called. Um, what is it? <laughs> it stands for something. And I'm sure it does. Yes, dude. I forget exactly what. <laughs> something <laughs> throttle and stick. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, like, how how did it compare? Like, did did you find it easier to use? Like, okay. I, I know it's a bit of a learning curve, just because it's. It was. Yeah, it was a lot of buttons on the flight stick, not not so many on the keyboard and mouse. Actually, yeah, it was a lot easier to use keyboard and mouse. Hmm. The game felt faster paced using the keyboard and mouse. When you moved the mouse, the ship would turn faster, sure. and you could increase decrease the sensitivity of the mouse and stuff. With the flight stick, everything. Well, to be fair, man, they give you a lot of control and um, to like I'm mess sure. with your settings. I'm and sure. All that I didn't. The... I didn't like test out yeah. all the details, but in general, the flight stick felt like heavier it was a lot harder to push the throttle yeah. right and you had to put a lot more oh, physical it felt so good. yeah it felt gritty it had that grit it, it felt nice and it was more precise because i could get that exact speed i want to get mm -hmm. with the throttle and every movement felt like i was actually putting work into it so like i said stamina wise i'd run out using the flight stick so for short bursts in the game if i want to get like the full experience i use the flight stick but if i'm actually going to play out the game for hundreds of hours and you know maybe multiplayer and actually do pvp I would do the keyboard and mouse. Doesn't it have mouse. VR too? Doesn't it have a VR option in yep. Dangerous? Yes. But I don't even know what that's mm -hmm. like. Like what 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 that could even... Yeah, man. It <laughs> is completely VR support for Oculus and Vive. Cool. And it's basically... I mean, it's... It's chill. It's like you're in your cockpit. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're, you're in your, in your co cockpit. I mean, you, you could look around. You would use your hands with the controls, right? But what you see instead of like the screen oh, being that's, disconnected yeah. from you, it seems like you're in there. You know, you'd move your head. You'd see that. I mean, I think it would be an amazing experience. I actually yeah. have something pretty close to it. Track IR. I know we didn't check it out last time, but next time we definitely should. Sure. It's basically like a little sensor that you put on your monitor. Yeah. And then you put another sensor on your hat or your headphones or whatever. When you and it tracks your, your head movements. Yeah. And you don't have like goggles on your head. Uh, I, I play with it a little bit. It works, man. It works really well. It's cool. Yeah. Nice. And like that's the thing for Elite Dangerous. In order to open up your menu, you have to look either to your left or to your right. Yeah. To your like to open up. Yeah. You, you know, like the whatever. Yeah. Right. Statistics. Communications or whatever. Yeah. 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 And when you have the track IR, all you need to do is look to your left, uh -huh. and the menu comes up. Like, like it's, it's cool. The game kind yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. It kind of simplifies it a little. Very good. And having that kind of head movement and to look around like above your ship, More like immersion. to the side of your ship. Yeah, man. Like I really think it gives you an edge. Yeah. Just because you see more. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, looking around like your ship, the re realism of the ship, the designs and where your cockpit is and like the windows, what shape they are and how much you can look this way mm. and the degrees you visibility can see. Visibility is a big thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the visibility change from ship to ship. Because fuckers can come from all around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally, man. Like I remember when we were trying to find like the next plot of our course, like we were just like, 
lost for a little bit and like we had to turn the ship around all the way and like to rely on the mini map and stuff like that i'm pretty yeah. sure the track the tracking stuff would just help monumentally because oh, no, you could just absolutely. look up you could just look around oh well, there's that fucking planet like millions of light years away, <laughs> like, you know like <laughs> no that'd be fucking baller dude yeah definitely have to try that shit out yeah man. and they, they have like the whole market system every system has its own like trading yeah. routes commodities that's importing fucking game. exporting dense dude is a very good dense yeah but in a good way, then. Yeah, no. Vast. Sure. Yeah. Like a dense Deep. jungle. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely something I'm going to continue playing. I'm going to play a little bit more For of. For sure. And we'll have a glimpse on the website pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm that'll pretty be fun. excited for that, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's go ahead and take a little break. Perfect. And we'll be back with a bit of a special segment. All right, gentlemen, we're back. Hello. Hello. I have one word. Space. Games. The final frontier. It's a thing. It's out there. It's everywhere. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's spend this next half of the podcast and let's create a game. The next or level space game. The next level space game. Exactly. So let's throw some ideas around. Let's have some fun. Yeah. And figure out, I don't know. Let's figure out this game. Should we start with the name or should we save that for later? No, bro. Starting with a name, like, we'll... It's tough. It's yeah. tough. And then if we have a name, then we might, like, frame our ideas yeah. too much in that name like, and it'll, yeah. like, cater the game yeah, to the exactly. name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You want to frame the name around the ideas. Okay. So, um, we're not making... Okay. Just some clarification for everyone. We're not making a space game. We're making a sci-fi game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oriented in space. Okay. So, you're <laughs> saying... All right. You're saying let's go space. We're, well, we're we're explorers now. Well, it can be sci-fi, but like we explorers. But now, but dude. but the setting will be space, right? Well, it doesn't have to be. Oh, like, really? We can straight up do like a zombie thing. Like that's also sci-fi, even though zombie, I don't want to do a zombie thing. Zombie thing in space? No, fucking oh. no. <laughs> Zombies in space, <laughs> dude. They've already made a game. Okay. What? It's the. It's that, that, that strategy game, the um, pirates, zombies. Oh, whatever, things. dumb what? BS that no one cares about. It was okay. That's I don't know, bro. I've never heard of any of it. It's an RTS. Eh. Interesting. Well, like, okay, so I'll, I'll boil it down. When I think like sci-fi, at least like the first sci-fi that ever like truly gripped me in game form was Mass Effect, right? Uh, I, I don't know if you've played it already. Yeah. Oh, you played you played one and two or what? Shit, two. dude! I, I didn't even two. know you played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys got you got you got me into it, man. Good, dude. Yeah. Uh, like to me, that was the fucking like def that. So what start uh what um Elite Dangerous is to you now that density that that uh, and like that mesmerization that beauty that everything like I experienced that when I was a lot younger in high school with Mass Effect, but in a different aspect. Yeah, in a different way, obviously. Yeah. But like that same wonder, right? Right, right. And that wonder specifically came in the first game when you get to the Citadel and it's this mm -hmm. giant hub of all these alien races and there's like a Senate and like the humans are trying to get a seat in the Senate, all this crazy shit, right? That to me, like if I had a perfect fucking sci-fi game, it would need something like that, like a hub of just tons of aliens and shit like with merchants and RPG and mechanics. That's and you number could get one. Quests. Hubs. Yeah, dude. Hubs. Dude. Hubs. Okay. So Any, we need a hub city. Yeah. Any sci-fi game, space, whatever, should have hubs, citadels, these locations where when you arrive at these locations, shit you happens. say, wow. Yeah. You say, like, this is a contrast between like, all the other space. In there's, the like, different cultures between them and, like, different kind of, like, regulations and, like, oh, this one's in this a part of space so they have a different kind of way of like uh getting uh uh, uh visitors and mm -hmm. then this one has another you know like shit like that and like you could go in there get quests from people and like you're trying to like you know be a alien or you're trying to be a human or whatever against all this backdrop of like galactic civilization you know like that shit okay, to okay. me is so okay. hubs <laughs> hubs okay well, well, hold on so, so yeah. i'm gonna be writing our stuff down yeah. so like at the end of it we could just look back yeah that's why i'm, I'm like yeah. jo john's like going off and i'm like <laughs> digesting it in my yeah. head and i'm gonna give you like main all right, pointers so, all right so i'm writing we need hub cities right hub cities yeah. city hub that's cities. the keyword are, are we going with cities are we doing space stations are we doing okay. planets so they would vary depending on what just john said like the factions say or the cultures that they belong to like the architecture in the game would be varied it would the, be okay. natural dude the same way that life on earth is like varied and has differences and has all right. these kind of conflicting like uh, uh wills and perspectives it would probably be the same way in fucking sci-fi and space with all these aliens right right so 
One criticism I have of Elite Dangerous, actually, you know those stations? So when John saw that station that we arrived at, the huge station, it looked so cool, right? Yeah. He, his reaction was so amazing. He's like, whoa, right? But like for a veteran player like me, I've seen so many of those stations and some of them have very similar architecture where eventually the value is lost. Sure. Right? Like all the Empire stuff looks the same. All the Federation exactly. stuff looks the same. Exactly. There's like just a couple of different variations between the stations. But after you visit enough systems, you realize, oh, okay, there's just a certain range of them. It's not like they're all different. You know what I'm saying? So kind of having a very varying that architecture in the world that you're in enough so it doesn't feel like anything is being repetitive. So the hubs you have and stuff, they would have very specific architecture to them, depending on like the culture or region of whatever area they're in within the game. Yeah. Hmm. Right. So this is all visual so far. It's, no, but it, I mean, also like it just. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah like the cultural. No, right, stuff. right, right. Okay. So already from this. <laughs> um, I'm parsing that there are different aliens, so it's Brother, not only a yeah. human yeah. No, sci-fi. Fuck no, dude. Okay. Okay. Sci-fi How is... can you have sci-fi with just humans? Come on. No, dude. Have you guys seen Firefly? Have you guys seen Serenity? Please, dude. No, you can bro. make very good sci-fi without aliens. Aliens fucking suck. No, dude. Please. Aliens. You're telling me the aliens in Mass Effect aren't cool? Uh, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying aliens suck. You... What the fuck? You, <laughs> sir, <laughs> are instigating. No, dude. I, I... <laughs> I am a humanitarian. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. I see. Okay, so you'd Humanity. be a ta- you'd be a Terran in in <laughs> sure. Starcraft. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, I'd, I'd be more like a a Zerg, a Zerg dude. I think. Yeah, like, I, think I, I think I'd be dude? hive mind all the way. Oh yeah, bro. straight hive mind, dude. I don't know, man. I think that aliens are cool, especially because in general, when they're created, like you know, we're making a game, so it's obviously up to our imagination, and our imaginations are so vast and come from so many different angles and experiences and perspectives Why, thank that, you. like. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> so uh, to have alien races like the same as in Mass Effect or in like Star Trek or like in Star Wars or like all these different sci-fi like uh, uh, like settings mm-hmm. would just be like phenomenal to yeah. see. It adds depth. Yeah, dude. It like adds you cool said, fucking dynamics. Mass Effect for you was very deep, like elitist for me, right? Yeah. But in a different way. Yeah, obviously different, way different. But So if I were to try to point out what way that is, Elite is vast in its space and grandeur, whereas Mass Effect has all those different aliens and yeah. races and cultures yeah. that you meet and it's kind of deep in that way yeah and it's that, deep in the lore yeah it's deep in the lore exactly I lore. so I lore fucking mythology and okay lore and like crazy gods okay. like that there you aliens go believe in that's weird a good shit. point yeah. so the game should have lore within it everything that you see should have some sort of backstory to it or background right yeah like some lore why how did this come to be what is what is this all about right Somewhere, sure. somehow, maybe NPCs you talk to or something would translate this. It's really like so. Mass Effect, like a full-on encyclopedia that you could read. Yeah, yeah perhaps. Yeah. I love that shit. It was yeah. like audio recorded. You just listen. It's, it was cool. Yeah. It's so, just so, a great okay. Um, I'm just... I have an idea Run down right the list. So, yeah. First thing I wrote, aliens unfortunately exist. <laughs> Under that, there are factions. Yeah. Under that, I wrote, they need to be exterminated. The aliens. So... The factions or the aliens? The, the aliens. Oh. So... I want to I want to introduce a faction that is all about destroying aliens. That's yeah, a, that makes total sense. That's that's totally fine. Yeah, I was about to say one idea I would have is in this kind of sci-fi game to have an unknown force, mm. sort of like this thing that you kind of encounter here and there, but it's like always the proteins, like dude, something like that. Like uh, like in <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like in Spore, it was those uh, Groks or whatever Fuck they were called. Dude, I don't fuck remember those guys. Yeah. Something Fuck like that game too. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that where it's like people are kind of afraid of them, but they're at the same time misunderstanding them. You're never really sure what their objective it's is. It's the same thing with the Reapers too. In exactly. Mass it's the fucking same thing. Some yeah. unknown force, like something out there that poses a threat to more than just yourself and more yeah. than just other people. You know, it's like a whole universal I, threat. I think that's a staple. So right now, sure. Right now, I feel like we need to start getting a bit more specific because sure. right now you just said an unknown force. Like yeah. You're basically explaining the Reapers. Right. Let's get Some, more specific. Something of that sort. Okay, yeah. well, well like, we, would have what, to fle- these... we would have to flesh out the game a little more th- in order to be able to arrive okay. at like a specific okay. Okay. Well, what's going on? What's, like, yeah. what's happening uh, in the I world? Say, I say right now, let's deal with story a little bit and sure. the entire world, sure. and then we could talk about mechanics and That's a good idea. Out, like what the game actually yeah. is. Yeah, why not? Where are we like in the timeline? What's happening? Are we like way in the future? What? Who is our guy? Do we have a guy? You make a person. You, you make, make girl, guy, class, you whatever, choose, no uh, class. What doesn't matter. Uh, race? Do you choose your faction in the beginning or do you leave that to have okay, occur dude, later on? See, mm. this is the interesting thing. Like, it's funny because, like, you know, you, you play games that are in set in sci-fi and stuff like that. And usually the question people ask is, why can't we play the other races? And it's precisely because the other the races 
are never quite as relatable or uh, like enticing to play as like a human against the backdrop of all these things. Mm. So I think if I was going to make a game, it, you would be a human for sure. In the I, game, experiencing all these other really? Yeah, I, I think you would be a human, yeah. Even though like I would choose human 100% of the time, I feel like I would like to have the option of choosing the other races. Really? Yeah. But like, what if it's like a, com- like, you know, not all alien races are like humanoid. They could be like well, fucking yeah, weird you- shit. Do you want to play that too? <laughs> like a fucking like no. apparition, like fucking out of like Cthulhu's like dreams, you know? Who knows, man? That could be okay. <laughs> like imagine like in Mass Effect, well, what are the weird, the weird jellyfish creatures? The Hanar? The, the Hanar. Yeah. What I wouldn't mind playing as that. What if this game... <laughs> Just floating around the Citadel. <laughs> what if this game is so expansive that you could literally have like a character creator where you create your own race <coughs> spore and it and it <laughs> yeah something that. like spore like a little bit and it but just not shit. and it just puts you like near the most like the popular the main population of the world somewhere like on the outer outskirts of like where the main population is building just a system like an empty system like if it's uh i'm comparing it to elite you know how there's a bunch of systems in the universe so an empty system would just become your your race would occupy it you know, and you would kind of like create, at least maybe it could be an option for you to do so if you'd like, but you don't have to. You can say, choose a pre-existing one. That's an interesting angle to start as like a whole new race in a whole new place and hmm. see where you go, I guess. Like you just discovered space travel maybe as a, as a species and you, hmm. and like and you're you have opening to deal with the up to this new world of all these other cultures yeah. and hubs and races. And, Might be interesting. And, okay. and that unknown force and reveals itself as well. So- <laughs> It sounds like we're slowly going uh, towards going away from story again. Open world, yeah, no, no, no. Like, uh, just by the direction we're going, it's right. going towards an open world story RPG. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I mean, story RPG would. I mean, we haven't really gotten the mechanics yet, but I feel I like open feel world like this is the narrative direction that driven. We're going would we on. have leveling? Like, would our character be leveling up? Damn, bro, it's so hard to make a game. Dude. Of course, dude. <laughs> and we're just only fleshing say, out the ideas, not even programming. What if I say I'm against doing RPG? That's what totally fine. Make? I'm totally fine with that. Man. Yeah, whatever. Elite's not really an RPG. Yeah. You know, and I love that. So, yeah, like, uh, uh, I don't want to. Let's not talk about a Mass Effect clone, is what I'm saying. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to bring up Dark Souls just for a moment. <laughs> Even though you can level in Dark Souls, a lot of things depend on your gear. So, like, your weapon. When you have when you're using a different weapon, your move set changes. Like it, it looks like you're a completely yeah. different character, regardless of how you have leveled up. So, for example, in the sci-fi game, you cannot have leveling. It, you can completely remove that part of the RPG aspect. But depending on like your equipment, say you might still be able to have equipment like a weapon or something like that, and that would determine say a lot of other things about your character. Hmm. Is your equipment as opposed to like your your level. equipment or like your ship's equipment? Yeah, your um, ship's equipment or whatever. Maybe you have your own equipment on your person. If you're outside of your ship, and maybe if you're in your ship flying in space or whatever, your ship also has its own equipment. Maybe your character doesn't doesn't level up, but you get to choose traits, or maybe your character develops traits over time depending on his interaction with the different races. Hmm. Like you're a brave character, and that gives you certain statistics, say, versus if you were not. You know, <laughs> and each one has its ups and downs where it's balanced. Okay, something like that. I mean, I'm pretty getting pretty deep here. What if? What, what if you don't only play as one character? That's what if you play as a few other time. characters, and there's a set story that all, let's say, three of the characters eventually Converge. intermingle or don't. It sounds more like a single player game, though. Hmm. Yeah. That's starting to sound a little more like single player. Do we want? I thought. Okay, the way that you guys were talking, I thought this was single player. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Oh, no. I was actually approaching it with a more of a, like a multiplayer aspect. Really? Mind. Yeah. That is not what I was thinking at all. That's funny. <laughs> you could yeah, do like just open the way, world just RPG. The way, just the way that you guys were talking. Like really? I was just thinking straight up. Oh, wow. Aspect. You got the single player vibe off of what yeah. we were saying? Oh, I was thinking more like everybody's, you know. Just doing their own shit. Yeah, and then together they're you know gonna go out into space. I like the idea that John brought up where you just discovered some technology uh, that allows you to connect to all these other players now, Spot- and that's kind of how the game starts. Hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. That, that, I, I like that. I like that idea a little bit. Yeah, I, I didn't really think of that with the multiplayer thing in mind. That's, yeah, that's just begin the space age. Yeah, it's like, it's it, again, it, it, it's similar to sport. How sport kind of on the yeah, yeah. You I, might have I, like just, some I, like sport would have been such a perfect game if it oh, wasn't yeah. such trash. You know, like so. It had what if talking about that? Like, what if your hub city is your planet? Yeah, and yeah. You're kind be, of an ambassador. Of your people. Yeah, something like that. Sure. Dude, 
Okay, so... I like that. I fucking read this book recently, a sci-fi book, okay, called The Left Hand of Darkness, where this guy is just an ambassador. Yeah, it's really good. This guy is an ambassador, and he goes to this, like, uh, planet to introduce the people of that planet to this galactic, like, economical institution that he wants them to join, right? There's nothing nefarious about it. It's simply, like, for the benefit of all galaxies, right? The UN. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a galactic UN, basically, with, like, more economic power. And... I thought it was a very compelling, very cool novel. It would be cool if you're a fucking ambassador and you're just sent out, dude. And mm-hmm. you just got to do something. Okay. I don't know what. But okay, okay. <laughs> like, so yeah. you have your hub planet, which your hub citadel, specific like architecture to your race, whatever it is. And your it, the game starts. It's like your nation or whatever has, or your world has discovered this new technology. We finally reached these new heights. And you you are like uh, the chosen one or whatever, the volunteer or something that gets lottery chosen or whatever method where you get... Uh, You're the ex- sacrifice. <laughs> you get, yeah, perhaps maybe depending on which uh, depending race on you culture. choose, yeah. Yeah. the method in which they select you is different. Perhaps they yeah. sa- some, some culture sacrifices you, some culture uh, you win a lottery or something to go to like <laughs> yeah. a paradise or whatever, right? Something I like the movie The Island it was mm. kind of like that where they would win the lottery and go somewhere where they thought it was good, but it was actually bad. So yeah, you get to like experience this technology, which may be like a hyperspeed or, or hyperspace or whatever. So bear with me, dude. What if, <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking a lot about the concepts of the game, but let's, I, I'm trying to think about how the game would play or like what the really mechanics. Did, yeah. The mechanics and also the interaction the player has and stuff. So, I mean, I'm thinking you're, so let's just roll with the idea a little bit. You're an ambassador of an alien race. Maybe you designed the alien race. Maybe it's preset. Who knows? Yeah. For now, you're just a, an ambassador of an alien race or a human, doesn't matter. Sure. And you're sent to a planet to try to build an embassy there. And the entire yeah. game takes place on that planet. Now, I know you want to be in space, fly around and stuff a like that. Bit. However, yeah. however, can you imagine if it was an open planet that you're actually interacting exploring. with all these different things, exploring their sci-fi aspects? Perhaps you see things above. Maybe you could be in the immediate star space. You know what I mean? Or the immediate solar system and shit. Like, you know what? Yeah. Like, keep it kind hmm. of local, but not let's dense com- and local. Let's compromise. You know? Let's say if we have different races you can choose or class or whatever, right? They each have their own planet. So let's say there's like four or five of them. And they're all orbiting one giant planet that's like the main uh, collective, uh, like the UN. And then all these other people would go there and all of them would have certain connections. And where, let's say, the, the race you choose is the one that just opened up to the whole network whereas all yeah. the other ones have been opened to the okay. network and so now you're just starting off your journey so, so that planet that john's talking about that you would arrive at and explore is that actually connects all the races together okay so maybe through end game or something whoa, 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 hold on so yeah. you're saying that planet connects all the races together as in like that's sort everybody of the- goes there Okay. Right, like a everybody, true hub. everybody sends a true their hub. yeah, a true hub, the and hub may- of all hubs. And maybe it's the only real hub in the game because it's so vast and there's so much to do in it. Mm. You don't really need to go any and to any other yeah. like. That's hubs. like Dalaran. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like a Dalaran. Like PV- PVP would be if like you went to another planet that's not your racist planet. Maybe you can like uh, battle them there and stuff. Okay. Like control territory, so I don't okay. Know. So there needs, I feel like there needs to be some conflict. I think so. Like some shit needs to cool. happen. That's like, why I was terrible. talking about the unknown force. So what if there, it's not an unknown force? What it's if a there's a straight up, a straight up war? <laughs> sure. Between like all these races, yeah, all the races, yeah. yeah. Not necessarily not? between all the races, but like, what if you know that hub city that you're at? You're trying to build your embassy. You're trying to, you know, like do good stuff for your and people. And war breaks out spontaneously. War breaks out, or maybe some terrorist group are like fucking shit they up. They blow up your planet. Oh, oh no! What the fuck and now you have to get vengeance Dude, the for them 60. blowing up. Like okay. literally, right. you're Vegeta, right, 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 right. the Prince of All Saints, and they blow up your planet, Vegeta. <laughs> and now you're the last surviving Saiyan, and now you have to be a baller. Okay, be so a baller. I'm always on board for a revenge story. So. <laughs> I love revenge. Yeah, man. I'm in. Okay, that's it. Part of the lore is a huge revenge like plot. Cool. Yeah. So <laughs> you're an ambassador from your planet. Yeah. Your planet gets fucked up. Yeah. You're in this hub world with a whole bunch of the other. Races. As like one of the last, you don't know if you're the last. Maybe you're trying to find other. Oh, survivors. you're trying to find other survivors, maybe, perhaps. Maybe not as your main goal, but like as peripheral goal. Right. Like, throughout throughout the game, yeah. you'll find NPCs that but, seem to be survivors. But your planet got destroyed. Yeah. So the dudes that fucked up your planet yeah. still want to eliminate you. Mm, yeah. yeah. Your people. So you're sort of in hiding too. Yeah. Perhaps. But there there had to be other people, right? Uh. Like, yeah. Like you're not. You're obviously you're not a soul, dude. Like, yeah, there what had to be other people like on to... the hub or something. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So like, 
Well, yeah, if like you had just the discovered hub, the technology, you would perhaps be one of the only ones. Maybe you took a crew, out. dude, and maybe it's you and a crew. Maybe it's yeah. you and a crew, yeah. and you control more than thinking, one character, man, like you said, Em. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go, dude. We this can, game's oh, taking man. shape. Okay, interconnect. Let me start taking notes. Take some notes, man. Take some notes. All right, John. So we have get the creative just as well. Um, you are an ambassador. Make make sure that you somehow add from your like, planet ambassador. <laughs> You're an imba- bad bad uh, acidor, dude. Bad oh acidor. Oh no. <laughs> From your planet, your planet gets fucked. Yeah, someone blows that shit up. Frieza, you- Frieza blows it up. <laughs> Frieza, dude. Why don't we just make a fucking Super Saiyan game? Okay, dude? so you're on the Hub Planet. Yeah. yeah. We need a name for the Hub Planet. Yes. Oh my god. So dude. I'm I'm always a fan of naming planets at, like after really cool like Latin names and shit like that. <laughs> but it's an alien yeah, I know. discovered thing. It's so not a human we... thing. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. What? Hold on. Tell me. So, the planet that you're from yeah. and the race that you are, yes. not necessarily human. Not no, necessarily, yeah, It could be no. an alien race, yeah. yeah. It could be an alien race. It could be. What if the first planet to actually discover space travel and the first race to actually do all of, you know, like put everything together. I know where you're going with this, dude. It's humanity. A... <laughs> yeah, sure. And so they have, like, ultimate control over everything. They're the world police. Yeah. yeah. They, humanity is the world police. Yeah, they're the world police. And they're the ones that fucked up your planet. Yeah, but you don't and know. And you're on revenge from the humans. But you don't know that. Wait. You so discover the... that throughout. Okay. They seem to be the good guys, like, most for the most part. And, like, through the questing or, or however you progress through the game, you begin to, like, understand more and more that there's something fishy going on. And in the end, it turns out that the humans were the ones after all. So wait, is the hub planet? Brain. It's not Earth, right? It's not Earth, but it's like maybe it's a human planet. A human dominated. Human planet, dominated planet. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps we're the first to like dude. colonize that planet, and that's what made it the hub planet dude, because dude. it's so big. Wait, hold on, no, no, no. All right, so don't say we because we're humans. Oh, okay, that, that's what <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought you meant we as the character the that you play, like the no, no, crew. No, no, no. I mean, we humans yes. colonized this giant planet when we first discovered space travel. Cool. And now it became a hub for all the other alien mm-hmm. races. Yeah. However, due to political reasons or maybe just some weird thing that we'll discuss money. later, money, m- money or something, or maybe resources. I don't know. Right. Like they extinguish our race yeah. just as we and our crew had gone to that hub planet. They enslaved to set the up planet. The maybe they don't blow it up. They just enslave no, no, our people. No, it's got to be they're gone. They're gone. So? Yeah, yeah, no, dude. Okay, it's straight up because then there's like you could save them and all this shit, and fine, your, fine. your motivations are like muddled. Yeah. Like who cares? Okay. You know, like they're right. dead. Fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Just go. Yeah. yeah, fine. Okay, but but I don't think it should be that the the planet that you're from and the race that you're from recently discovered space travel. Like okay, you should fine. already have had it for a little bit, so your dudes are all spread out a little. And like then maybe you, you've colonized a few planets. And then you here randomly come in contact with the humans, and you realize that you're completely out outclassed. Yeah. Maybe okay. you were the second race to discover the space travel? Would that make sense or no? Oh, and then the humans feel threatened. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, dude, fuck maybe you guys. Straight these up guys are getting really strong. That's a good yeah. reason for why they would so fuck, they up, fuck your up your actual planet. Yeah. But then uh, would you really blame them at that point? <laughs> maybe <laughs> I mean, I'm, really I'm, I'm always on the humanity side, I, so I don't oh, know. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I mean, just want to I just want to say one thing. In the end, the truer events that you get is if you blow up Earth. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. No, I can't. Like, ultimately, that's the point, is you try to get revenge by blowing up Earth. <laughs> Damn, dude. Fuck, dude. <laughs> is that's that bad? That's bleak shit, dude. Does that suck? That su- no, people I don't think don't that like sucks. That? I think, I think, I think, okay, bro, so how are we approaching this? Is it an RPG? No. <laughs> like, because that, no, that's no, what no. it sounds like more and more even, yeah, right? Yeah, it does. It's like bro, you can't get like away a... from it, dude. It's the best fucking genre. It's really the best. RPG is pretty no. cool, man. Yeah, dude. Okay, no. what's the best genre? The best, I don't know. What about a sci-fi fighting game? Okay, what genre do we want this to be? What genre do we want this like to be? Like other than sci-fi, like in a yeah, in a gaming sense, like I, it makes it makes sense for it to be RPG. RPG. I mean, we could do RPG so are, for mechanics. So are you okay with not that? MMO? Not an no. MMO, but mo- do we have multiplayer? Maybe some online connectivity, maybe some multiplayer, but I don't think it should be an entirely multiplayer. Game. Okay, listen, I know. <laughs> oh god, I know we don't want to talk about Dark, Dark Souls, Souls right now. Yes. Oh man. However, Dark they have Souls. A great the, the I have to I have to bring up the multiplayer because the multiplayer seamlessly blends uh, single player and you know the online yeah. aspect as well, where people can invade you and like fuck you up, or you can help them and shit like that. I think that would be a good way to handle hmm. this kind of system where you're at odds with like humans or whoever else, right? As if like you call for reinforcements, you yeah, know, and like dude. your your dudes yeah. come from and like you with gain, a different spaceship. Yeah, and it's actual players, like it's the other survivors 
from your planet that okay. you're summoning into your world to help okay. you. Okay. Yeah, no. That's All okay. the other players are the remaining survivors. Dude, that's fucking baller ass. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's a good. Yeah, good, no, dude, good, that's good cool. stuff. Well, well, uh, uh, while Em's taking notes, so uh, we we are hire produ- pro- hiring pro- programmers now for this game. <laughs> we need more people to make programmers, this for us. artists, yeah. uh, capture uh, venture capitalists. Yeah. Uh, and when know. I say hiring, I mean like just make it. You know, <laughs> just, there's just make no pay points. involved. <laughs> Did you know they get a slice of the pie at the end? I guess you know. Well, they get to play the game they made and feel proud about it. You know. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Isn't maybe. that what it's all about, man? Yeah, dude, I wish. Uh, if it was an ideal world, bro. Shit. But this world that the uh, fucking hub world is not ideal at all. There's yeah. probably like political espionage. There's Crimes probably, like, in certain regions. Yeah, dude, territory yep. disputes and cool, like weird shit. Maybe yeah. there are RTS aspects where the game shifts out and you could like control entire <laughs> things. Who knows? Mm. Like cool shit like that. Like it doesn't have to be confined to only like you yeah. are just a dude that's leveling up, you know? Not necessarily yeah. like, uh, I wouldn't say RTS, but if, something. Yeah, but, but like something to like control your some dudes around. Some management. Just, like, some minimal thing to say like, go over there. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Go fight that guy. So, what, do we have a name for this planet? If it's a human-dominated planet, you were saying Latin. I fucking Latin love name, like so... weird Latin names or old names or something. Okay, you so know? I'm gonna type in old Latin name. Go for it, dude. Old <laughs> Latin name. Fucking or like Roman names. That's cool too. Like fucking, I don't know, man. Okay, sure. So I'm just gonna, okay, uh, choose a number between one through six. Uh, four, three. Okay, and then <laughs> just say stop. Stop. Uh, Angelio. Okay. That's it. What Planet it is then, Angelio. man? I don't know. I don't like that. You don't like all that? All right, bro. Then why don't you just read all the names and we'll say this one's really good and then we'll like decide on I'm gonna three. Skip, I'm going to skip a few. Just go to like to the S's. Actually, actually. yeah. So S? You want to do S? Yeah, why not? We could do letters. Yeah, so let's yeah. do S. Let's do S. Let's do... How many pages are there of S? There's. It keeps going. Oh. Okay, whatever. Just read the ones that stand out to you like cool ones maybe okay. and we'll just say this one. <laughs> This this is it. This this is the is oh wow! It even says the the definition of it. Yeah. So Where's Sander, it? defender of men. Nah. Sanders, defender of men. Nah. No, no, bro. Bernie Sanders. No. Skip. No, yeah. No, forget this. Let's skip a little more. Um, <laughs> Go to like to the S, like in the middle of the S's or something. Like S, and what, what second letter would? I don't know. K. Sk- yeah, this website's a little difficult to navigate. Sk- oh. but it's see. like is it like babynames.com or some BS? Yeah, right? yeah oh, I hate those no. idiot sites. Yeah, it's babynames.net. Oh, I knew it, dude. I use that shit for my Dungeons and Dragons names, bro. Oh, <laughs> I just yeah? look up shit there. Yeah, nice. of course, bro. I just go like Greek names and I come up with dumb characters. Skalash. How about Skavash? Skalash. Skalash. Skalash, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Lavash, yeah, dude. Planet, <laughs> Planet, La- Planet Lavash. Okay, dude. you know what? Let's make the army needs to cover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh no! Dude, like planet like Hayastan or some shit. Oh my god, dude! Hayastan Ergu. Well, okay, the, the, these names are fucking terrible. Let's go to B. Really? B. Vodik. No, man, please. Okay, anyways, so are we going back on what we said earlier? Is our character gonna be able to level up? I don't know, man. Maybe sure. Because if you're gonna do an RPG, you're not gonna do like a half baked RPG. Not you know what I'm not level up as in you're leveling up your classes and getting abilities, but perhaps leveling up aspects of yourself. So like you were saying er- earlier, you get traits depending on how you yeah. interact with other people, etc. So maybe you level up your squad too, and you, you know level what? up your main ship and shit like that. Honestly, like the older I get, the more leveling up turns me off. I like leveling up, man. You know what I think I'd like more is like your like I said, equipment, like gear. But more specifically, cyber genetics. Mm, I like see, I see. you straight up walk into like, like you augment yourself. Yeah, and... augment on yourself. Yeah, and that would be like the RPG esque element where your augments would level up the more like you use them. Say yeah, I agree. like say you can have augments for increased social behaviors. Like yeah, you know, and it, and you can have like augments for increased uh, combat ability, like physical strength and yeah, shit like that. I agree, dude. Speed, perhaps, maybe we can throw in a mirror's edge kind of element to it where as you're running around on the planet, you can actually be like escaping like a fugitive from like, uh, maybe like sections of that. Yeah. Securitrons and stuff. And you can like actually run around and hide in certain like buildings and stuff. Well, the question here now is how zoomed in do we want to be in this game? Like, do we want to be a guy running around on the planet of like the streets of the planet? Maybe it uh, changes, dude. Maybe sometimes. Yes. Maybe sometimes you're out and about in like an isometric view. Maybe sometimes you're in your ship and it's more like flying around like dog fighting or mm. something. Maybe it can just shift differently. Okay. Uh, just depending on the different sections of the game, what your character is up to, what your character is doing and the squad, of course, and whatever yeah. else. Interesting. Yeah. Did you find a name? 
My computer just shut off. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's a sign, dude, that, that there's no good name yeah. yet for Why this not, hub like, world. Shut off. Alpha Centauri 5. Okay, fine. Alpha Centauri 5. I'm sure there's like a game actually called Alpha Centauri. I know there is a game. Al- uh, yeah, there's something called Alpha Centauri. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that doesn't work anymore, huh? Well, we'll come up with some crazy. Bro, why not you know Beta what? Centauri? Why not people who fucking listen try to send a name yeah, to you this know hub what? planet? Y'all yeah. email us what the name of the human hub planet of the world would be once we discover okay. space travel. Well, we're running out of time. We need a name for our game. A name for our game as well. Do we um, want to? No, we should come up. Man, I don't so know. It's so tough, man. Names are really the toughest part. I can literally tell you every Break aspect the of the game. Break the sky. No, it's... <laughs> Nero, that's not too bad. Because It's kind of cool. Because because we're an alien race, it can't be something so steeped in like human sentiment or meaning or anything. Like so, break this guy is like, aliens probably don't give yeah. a fuck Expanse. about that. Expanse, maybe. Hmm. maybe, dude. Age of hmm. Extinction, no. That's I hate it when it's bad. like too many words. Like the title. No, I love like. You like, like, like I long love a meaty title. You like you guys like long. Yeah. T- I like one word titles. No, 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 no. Like, like big elite titles dangerous is cool. With subtitles, fuck, I don't, man. May, yeah, maybe. maybe. All right, Kingdom about, of Amalur Reckoning. Like that's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of neat. That's a good name. <laughs> I like Age of Extinction. I guess. Eh. Okay, how about like Expanse, the Human Rise, or some <laughs> shit like that, dude. Hmm. <laughs> It's got to be or, marketable, dude. It's got to be like fucking like so sexy that like they'll, it's like a fucking trip, like a Super Bowl commercial is about the game, you know, like, mm. and everybody remembers that shit. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay. Sure. Well. <laughs> sure, dude. <laughs> sure Come on, thing. Bro, I can dream right dude. now, dude. In literally 10 seconds, I'll improvise you the, the name of well, all okay. names. Well, okay. We'll, how about this? We'll sit on the name. Yeah. And I would like to see if like viewers have suggestions for the name of the hub planet. Yeah, that'd be cool if they send that in. Even the name of the or game, for the name or of any the game. suggestions yeah, at really, all, really. Yeah. yeah, play around with what, what we said. So, what would be like if you're listening? What would be your ideal sci-fi game, or what would you want in in a game that you played that had sci-fi elements or whatever? Tweak our ideas, take away, subtract, add. Yeah, let us know. Maybe refine some of the shit we've already talked about. Yeah, or don't so, say it's trash. <laughs> yeah, garbage. Uh, so a very quick recap. Uh, we, you are an ambassador, um, an ambassador <laughs> yeah. from your planet. <laughs> your planet gets destroyed. You're on a hub planet. The humans own the planet. The humans own everything. <laughs> the humans own space. Uh, you want revenge from the humans, so you're basically what trying to figure out how to get revenge. Or are you you're, trying to figure out that you, you don't even know it was them. the humans? Oh, you don't even know it was the humans. You're trying yeah. to figure out what happened to your planet. Mm. Yeah, that and could then be little good... by little, yeah, and yeah. little by little, you find out what. Like who did it? Why they did it? And how you're gonna fuck them up? Exactly. Or not? What if it's a sad ending? Maybe it is. What if? Maybe there's multiple race... endings depending on the decisions yeah. you've made. Well, of the course, game. you can't have a game without multiple endings, dude. Yeah. 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 The love stories inside as well with the NPCs. <laughs> yeah, dude. Of course, you can't have a game without relationships. Of course. In the RPGs, yeah. dude. The first time your character falls in love with a human female. <laughs> oh, dude, that's oh, some no. Romeo and Juliet shit. Yeah. Oh, okay, for well. sure. Cool stuff, man. That was that was pretty fun. Um, <laughs> Even though we got nowhere, really. Yeah. No, we got it some just, stuff. It just shows how little we know about Come all on, this, Come on, guys. Dude. Not at all, man. You guys are underestimating. That it. was fun. In a matter of like, what? What was this? 30 minutes, we improvised an entire like, game That's true. altogether. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was fun. Sure. Yeah. I'll well, take we, it. We did good, man. If we had like days to think about this, imagine. Mm. we have all our lives to think about it fool <laughs> like come on no man i don't i got dark souls 3 to play the second yeah, i get oh, home yeah. <laughs> okay well change of pace because we have an email oh dude we have a very meaty email it's the return of video james Ooh, the prodigal son dude yes i'm ready um, so he he sent us a few questions actually um so let's try to answer all of them <laughs> He's uh, video. James says I've been gone for a while, so it's time to make up, uh, make up for it with my barrage of questions. Question one: What video game would you want to see a live-action movie on? That's an interesting question. I'm straight up saying Mass Effect. Like it's it's a cool yeah. universe, man. You know like, what? It's, yeah. Like maybe because like we've been talking about space all this much, but like I honestly think it'll work. It. Yeah. I'm just straight gonna roll with you guys. Sure. Yeah, Mass Effect's cool. I mean, I like sci-fi shit, so that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Easy. Mass cool. Effect. Mass Effect. Question two. Pokemon console. Um, okay. Pokemon <laughs> console red blue version in Witcher 3 graphics or Pokemon MMO with RuneScape graphics? 
Wow, that's actually interesting. I would rather play the Witcher one. The Witcher one yeah. for sure. With the shit graphics? No, no, no. Oh, the the red, red, blue yeah. with the Witcher graphics. Okay. Or like any yeah. Pokemon game with those kind of yeah. graphic systems, density, yeah. aesthetic. Yeah, I think I'm with so. you, man. Like it's fuck RuneScape, man. Yeah. Old, yeah, no, I, old. I wouldn't be able to bear to play that more than in like thirty minutes. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, uh, if you were to start a game of Dungeons and Dragons, but the person. Uh, to the to your left of you chooses your racing class. What will they choose? Oh, oh what will they choose? Oh, what will they choose so for who, me? the person? Yeah, so the person sitting to your left, what will they choose for, for your you. race and class? Yeah. So, so like, I'm what, sitting, John. Yeah. I'm sitting to your left. Yeah. Arg, you're sitting to my left. So what Arg, would I choose for you? What, what would you choose for me? Yeah. Wait, I what? think I'm so confused. Let me read again. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really matter? We're all just gonna choose for one another anyhow. Well, no, 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 okay, no, 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 no. Read, read, read it one more time. Let's get it right. Let's if get it you right. were to start a game of Dungeons and Dragons, uh-huh. yes. but the person to the left of you chooses your race and class, what will they choose? So, so should that asking, person say it no, or we say it? I'm answering for you, Arig. Okay. Okay. So answer- oh. okay, I mean, what do you think I would choose for you? You would race choose, and class. you would give me a elf sorcerer of some sort. You are absolutely correct. Yeah, like some intellect fucking pussy ass shit. That was exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. I thought so. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I don't get this left, right so, bullshit. So, John, I'm sitting to your left. I'm sitting to your left. What do yeah. you think Emin would choose what for you? What would I choose for you? As a oh. race class. In a, in a, in, you know. In d d You should know. In d I don't know, man. You might just choose some weird shit for me. No. I mean, for sure human. Yes. Without a doubt. Like, uh, without a... You would choose a human. Halfling rogue. You're a... You're a I'm, I'm, I am honestly... My first instinct was a thing. Oh, dude... See, I would. <laughs> I, I think that you would definitely choose for me a dwarf. However, yeah. your love for humanity yep. is so strong that it seeds a doubt in my my certainty of that. And I would I would have just said human okay. because you love humanity so much. As for class, dude, I think you would give me like a rogue or a bard. Honestly, I think paladin. you would give me you give me a you would give me a paladin. I will o- always <laughs> always paladin. Anyone? Dude. Anyone? Damn, anyone paladin? That's the, that's the correct. Class. Uh, paladins are fucking cool. Paladins are awesome. Yeah, they're great. I'm playing a paladin right now in in the in the campaign that Vahok's running. Nice. Yeah. Are you are you a good paladin? I don't. No, think, I'm not. Okay, a, I'm I don't not think paladin. paladins are good. No, they are good, but you, but in the new versions, you can play paladins that are more. Uh, they exemplify their alignment more than the ideal of the good. Mm. So they exemplify their alignment. So you could be like a paladin of the true neutral. So you're like the embodiment of what it is to be neutrality. <laughs> that's what it is it's pretty cool dude i think that's, that's cool. where i'm at <laughs> <laughs> in real life that is dude john you'd give me a shut up human fighter are you a human fighter yeah fuck no dude you want to give me that no bro. that's all i can see myself as no dude <laughs> what I'd, would you give me man I'd, I'd give you like a human fucking uh thing well at least i got the human part right no yeah okay. i'd give you like either human like but i told you bro i'd give you like bard, bard like you're a good right. bard or like okay. you'd be like a cool fucking sorcerer oh, or something. we actually yeah. talked about this shit before okay yeah so i definitely give I you totally like forgot. a human you sorcerer would have given me a bard definitely magic bro okay. definitely magic like interesting m- like strength of magic and shit yeah that's funny man all right <laughs> all right i'm down all right, dude. That was oh, a fun you question. Have, you that have was it a fun all. question. You have it all. Yeah, that was a very fun question. Yeah, we, yeah. we have our last question from Video James. Uh-huh. Uh, you are a CEO of a gaming... Co- oh, I know exactly... Okay, I know the answer to this, what every one of us is going to say. You are a CEO of a gaming company, and you have two choices. Super Smash Brothers Pokemon or Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter. What game would you start development on, and which would you throw in the Let's trash? Let's say it on three, guys. One, two, three. Super, Super Smash, Smash Pokemon! Pokemon. Pokemon there you go. <laughs> yeah. What the dude, f- Mortal Kombat versus Street? Fuck that. Who cares? Dude, who gives a shit about <laughs> either of those things? Dude. <laughs> like, yeah, they're cool games, but like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, Super Smash Pokemon. Now, if it was fun. like Mortal Kombat versus Pokemon, maybe that'd be weird. Just throw Pokemon <laughs> in there. You raise the chances. Wait, what's your Mortal Kombat versus Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. Imagine Sub Zero against like a fucking like Blastoise. What does yes. he do, dude? Imagine the Pokemon fatalities on the Mortal Kombat uh, yeah. characters. Yeah, oh, that boy. can get creative, huh? Like literally, like Charmander okay. just like like immolates you like right in front to of him Chris, to like yeah. a skeleton yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. make mm-hmm. it happen that sounds Don't good make it happen. with gritty graphics <laughs> okay uh, one last thing not a question oh. but, um, <laughs> this is a request for your next beer review 95.5 KLOS has its own beer I never tried it but just look at the name uh, it's called <laughs> oh boy Bohemian Hop City oh wow 
Um, All right, bro. I got I'll try yeah. Hop City. So let's let's we'll, we'll try. Yeah, we'll Hop try City, to find yeah. it. Sure. We'll try to find it. Yeah. I'm, I I will try. I like we'll Queen. Dude, I like. Uh, you yeah. Know, Bohemian Queen's Rhapsody right. is a good song. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Good stuff. Yeah. It was a good one. I think that's a show. We we talked about Elite. We made a game. Don't forget to send us a couple of name ideas. Yeah. yeah. Good shit. Good stuff, man. All right. If you guys have more questions for us, mail at thenextlevel.com. That's where you send it. Cool. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.